Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning has been so busy this morning. I like had plans. I like got up and I was drinking my coffee outside and doing my messages. And then I was like, I'll do some food this morning. And so then um, we had to have an inspector come real early. I didn't think they'd come that early. They came at seven this morning. I was like, Okay, super early. So I had to do that. Jane went to work and then I came back home and I started getting my food together to, my phone's out of control, give it a minute, um, to get um, things made today because I'm trying to use up things in my freezer. I wasn't going to do that, but hold on. We're still in the process of waiting, but I feel like I need to kind of be proactive in a few things in my life. So I was like, let me use up the things in my freezer. So I'm trying to really plan my meals around what I have left. Most of it's like meat, obviously, like the little stuff like tater tots and bagels, that'll all get eaten up. But like my meat stash, I have chicken, I have beef tips, I have sausage and hamburger. And so I'm like, and a huge thing of bacon, yeah. So I was thinking, and then I have sausage, breakfast sausage. So I was like, what can I make today? So I was gonna, I pulled up two breakfast sausages and I thought I can do, and I also have cheese frozen. I'm trying to use that because I bought a bunch for Jensen and I thought um, I could use one and make sausage breakfast balls, the sausage balls with Bisquick. Well, then I realized I don't have Bisquick. So then I looked up a recipe and I was like, okay, I can do that. And then I thought, well, it needed milk. Well, I don't have any milk <laughs> to make it. And so I was like, scratch that. So I pulled out bagels over here and there is cream cheese. The kids can have cream cheese and there's salami in there. I'm like, breakfast, I guess that's done. And then I was thinking about dinner and I'm gonna do beef fried rice. So I pulled out, I had, remember I bought the beef. I think it was, I don't know if I cut it myself. I think I did. I think I bought a big beef something and I cut like a sirloin something and I cut all the pieces. Brisket, or no, what did I buy? London broil, that's what it was. And cut it all up and put it in bags. Well, I put it all together um, in just smaller bags, just smaller portions. So I pulled out two and I'm like, let me cook it in my slow cooker so it'd be nice and tender. And then I started making it and I'm like, they really are not huge. I mean, they're bigger. We only eat all in one day, but I'm like, I could just cook all of them. There's four, I think there's four. And then I can have some today. I'll put some in the refrigerator and we'll make a meal tomorrow or the next day, something. And so I got that rolling over here. So I have right here in my slow cooker, it's London broil. There's four packages for us. I put in there onion and garlic and soy sauce and was that it? Onion, garlic, soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil. And I think that's it. Yes. And that is going to cook and slow cook. So it'll be nice and tender and fall apart later today. So then I was like, Okay, so what do I do today? And so again, we're in the phase of waiting, not sure what we're doing. So I'm like, let me look for boxes because we're gonna have to start packing soon. And if everything keeps rolling, it's gonna go real quick in the next week. And so I'm like, if I do something today, cause I'm not really doing a whole lot, go get boxes. I'm a place that a person that has a bunch of moving boxes, a ton. And so I was like, okay, but it's a little bit further away. Just have to do a drive, no big deal. But there was a lot. And so I was like, I'm on it. So that's my gameplay today. <laughs> We're gonna go get boxes, pick up packing tape, and then I thought I'd stop at Walmart on the way. I have to return a pan and get some milk. And I think hamburger buns were on my list because I have burgers. And then that's, so that'll take care of my food for the week and the weekend here. I might have to run and get something, but more likely just if I get milk and the buns will be good to go. So anyways, my big plans of cooking and being at home is out the door. I still have a list to do again. It's just how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna go on a trip. I think I'm gonna take Jensen with me. I was not gonna take a lot of kids because I need all my seats down so we have the space to put a ton of boxes. So we're gonna have a great day. It's gonna be a great Tuesday. You're coming along, right? What we're doing in life and this is how it's going. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's just do it. So we're gonna have a great day. Get my cooler over here. I'm gonna put an ice pack in it so I can get milk, get my stuff together and then uh, head out the door with Jensen. So we'll have a great day. All right, let's go. Got a water, so I'll take it car with my vitamin C because that's always good. And then I started cooking him a bagel, burned it. So I'm like, okay, that goes to me. And then I made one for Jensen and it's the, the vegan cream cheese. So cream cheese vegan is not very good, but it's it's okay. He likes it. So I'm gonna take that in the car. We're gonna go head out and then drive to another town. A little bit further away, uh, we'll see. Okay, in the car with the seats down. So we got some room and just a cooler back there. We're gonna go ahead and get some boxes. Head southwest on w Oh my goodness, we got boxes. We got so boxes like this is uh, crazy they had paper they had everything tv boxes mirror boxes the cup the padded paper awesome shoved as much as we could in the pilot here we're gonna go ahead we gotta run to walmart and pick up a few things so wow they just moved here so that's awesome and they're like i just need to get rid of all this stuff so that was a very good little blessing for us so all right we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go to walmart all right riverville is a long drive it seems like <laughs> 
it's a pretty drive. It's like beautiful mountain range views, beautiful people were great. I can't believe the box. And so we're gonna go into Walmart right here. I have to pick up a few things. I'm gonna return that. I I bought that griddle pan because I realized I think and I was thinking I needed it, but the new house does have I think a griddle with it. So just return it. So let's go and do that and then um, get milk, hamburger buns, packing tape marker and I don't know what else. We'll see if there's anything little. All right, let's go in. Right into Walmart we go. So we're just gonna get some pecking tape, which is gonna be all the way down. Let's cut through here. Go all the way down here and get some packing tape. See, moving back is 264 for one. We probably got like a gazillion. <laughs> so we got a really good deal. Okay, we need tape is what we're gonna need for sure. Let's get a big roll. Well, they do have the stretch wrap right there. Packing paper, oh my goodness, we have tons of that too. So this might be good for, we'll have to look for the furniture, but I do need to get just a bunch of packing tape, probably packaging. I guess it doesn't really matter. The packaging tape, probably this one. That looks like a good, oh, there, I just actually grabbed two. One should be good, we'll just get one of those. I think we said not to get the little machine. Or do we? Brooklyn said, don't even bother. So I'm like, okay. So we'll do this and we'll go get a marker. Okay, look at, see, look at the price of boxes here. $3. We got like a whole lot of these right here. So we did, uh, we did really good. I gotta find markers here. I think Sharpie king size we need. That's a big, thick marker. I think this will be good, right? Then we have different colors. They use black. I was thinking it probably better not to, but this will be good. We'll just get a big, giant one, right? Yeah. All right. Versus markers. Okay, we need some lactose milk. Milk. Right here, and I need this because I have bagels, but I don't have any cream cheese. And we can make some more of those sausage balls. It's a cart organizer. Okay, then let's go. I was showing them how to grab like a later date one. Like some of these are four, the ninth. I said you want to get a later date one. So two of those. Okay, I need some hamburger buns for those hamburgers. We got bread for peanut and jelly because we got a lot of bit of that. So since we're here, I have a list on my phone already of things to get. So I'm going to just see. So remember about the corn checks? I'm gonna see if they have the regular checks. So I could make puppy chow. They have rice crisp. Let's see. They only have corn. They have the regular brand, but not not the Walmart version, do they? They do not. So I guess do I want to spend? I guess I can get a five dollar box because I have the other ones for a dollar. It's still it's like twice the price, right? We'll get one of these. I need some of this. They only have two. A few pastas that I do want to get some of this is I can't find this anywhere else and I do want some of this to stock up on when we move so I'm gonna get two of these so I'm gonna get two of each of these because we do like these and we can't always get them everywhere so I don't mind getting it because it'll be I don't know if we'll find this we'll never know if we'll find it again can't come here without getting a treat for the kids all right we're done okay, problem with shopping you always come out with more I think it's down here I remember that car over there. oh good Oh, there you go. I did too. Good, good. I was like, which aisle? I never remember which aisle. I'm mean, thinking this. I don't have like a white car or a black car like everybody else. I would not find my vehicle. I loved having our van because you could always tell where your car was because the 15 passengers, nobody has any of those. <laughs> okay, so we got groceries. I got a few extras, but there were things on my list to get when I did go again. So we will be good for the rest of the week and the weekend. So we're going to go load. I don't know where in the car. I'm going to put this all by uh, Jensen's feet. We're going to have to smush. All right, we're just smushing as best we can. <laughs> we're gonna go home now and unload this to the best of our ability. Okay, so since Jensen went with me, I got him a special treat. Just put over what you got. Copyright? <laughs> copyright, no, no, copyright. His favorite snack. I'm like, you come with mama, you get a treat. So he went and I just was like, he's like, mom, you should get a treat. I said, I don't really want McDonald's. He's like, go get yourself a coffee. Mom, you just serve a coffee. You need some, what did you call, say? You need dopamine, what is it in coffee? You need dopamine. You need dopamine. <laughs> just in coffee and I'm like I'll go get coffee so I just went and got a coffee I had to run because I used the bathroom and the lady the lid was kind of loose so she went to hand it on the counter and it like slipped out of her hand and it went flying it didn't get on me but it got off the counter I'm like oh my goodness I'm sorry so she felt really bad I'm like don't worry about it I said thank goodness it wasn't like red stained kool-aid something that's gonna get all over the place so I got my coffee she had to pick up a mess so bad so we're gonna go ahead home a gazillion boxes, gazillion, gazillion boxes. We're gonna go home and get the kids. They're gonna unload all these, and um, then I gotta see. I probably gotta pick Jaden up. And continue with their day. Look what fell out of my car when I opened it. Look at all this. Oh my goodness, we got paper. We got like paper and padded paper. I didn't even plan any of that. Gazillion. I told Jensen. I said even though we bought, I said it cost me McDonald's and coffee. So that's like what, 
20 bucks and then gas probably ten dollars thirty dollars but i said did you see the price of one of those small boxes with two dollars and 58 cents i know that we got more than 15 boxes so great deal today goodness look at all the boxes <laughs> that was an awful lot of boxes and the lady still had so many boxes i was like i don't even feel like i took a dent out of what you had but look at yeah a lot and all the paper all the paper so we got tv boxes and a couple mirror boxes which we needed so that's awesome so yeah okay we're we're good now i can pack for sure with all of our stuff awesome let me go go in see what we gotta do okay i came inside this kids kids have been here i can see this is, looks like this cooking away with the liquid here i should probably stir that a little bit make it break why don't we break it apart a little bit let's go like this it's still like oh she's a knife because that's all the sugar break it apart that's a lot of liquid in there just let that cook real tender all day i'll get back to this later later but this way it'll be you know broken up okay perfect so that's smells delicious by the way and then this is my tiny mini grocery haul so kids already dug into the donuts we got two milk that'll last us good and then i got two of the lactose there are three of the lactose so we can use that picked up this this was five dollars a couple dollars more but i already have the corn check syrup for what a dollar It'll be a treat we can make. And then um, these I wanted to get. This was on my list to buy because this stuff you can get at Sam's. I don't know if you can get this stuff anywhere else. We're moving to, they might not have it. I've never seen it anywhere but here. My mom would always have me, hello Maxine. She's like, I smell that meat, mommy. You do. My mom would always have me get this for her because she couldn't find these. So I got two of each one. This will last us forever. These will go quicker. So it's stored. It's good till next year. And then pasta, I was out of like, I don't know if I was out of that one, but I got one. But I know I don't have any of this pasta because I went to make some stuff and I didn't have any. So I just got a couple of those and a couple of those just to make. It's a dollar. We'll use it. Staples, no big deal. This because I bought the bagels. Thought I had more cream cheese than I actually had. These because I got those hamburgers in the freezer, the big boy ones. And um, we'll use this. And then I had like the artesian bread. Kids do like this. So again, we'll eat this over the next couple of days. So not a worry. And then I got tape. I probably should have got a bigger one, but four to start with. And then I got the big giant markers to mark our boxes with. So we are ready for packing. So just got to get everything rolling. It seems like I smell the stuff. My nose is stuffy also. So I'm going to put this stuff away here and I'll show that. And then um, I got to sit here and see what I got to do here. Regroup, get kids moving. I'm sure they are. And then uh, go from there. Okay, back to this camera. So my day is so busy, so busy. I've been on the phone for the last hour. House stuff. So I haven't got to doing anything right now. So I do need to make some rice. Got my beef cooking because we're gonna do the fried rice. So I need to um, just get some cooking. So we're done. We haven't done any chores. We haven't done anything today yet. I know we're getting there. Get there eventually. So I will just make. I'll do three cups of rice and then we can have extra if we need it. And then I'll just cook it on the stove and that will be good. Hi, YouTube people. Mom's here. I'm busy. I'm like, I just told Jane, I'm like, oh, I should be recording my day right now and I can't because I told her, I said, don't be surprised if we pull over to the side of the road, just be quiet because I gotta take this phone call. <laughs> and then I was like, well, let me grab the camera and say hi to everybody <laughs> so, to make your life easier. Hi, Jane. This is fun and I like vlogging. Jane likes just vlogging. Saying. She is. Oh my goodness. Today is fun. She doesn't even know. So my life is just crazy today. I said, mm -hmm. It was awesome. We got so many boxes. You don't know this. Really? Literally got the jackpot of jackpot boxes. Seriously? We drove to Weaverville. Okay. These people, they were like, we have to pay to get rid of these because they were so, they have so many. Like, I took a whole lot. You'll Wonderful, see it. Yeah. They literally had two more times that there. Oh my gosh. Paper okay. and everything. So much crazy. Mm -hmm. She's like, please, thank you. <laughs> so I'm like shoving my pilot with whatever. We got so much. Uh -huh. Well, probably way more and above, which is good. Wonderful. So, yeah, crazy. And then, like, with the house stuff, it's just like we're in that waiting in between and then, like, we're trying mm -hmm. to negotiate. And I'm just like, ah. So I had to, like, Get a phone with one person and call another person. Meanwhile, I haven't done anything. The house is the same as when I left. I did put some rice on. I cooked meat. That's all I did today. So I'm just like, okay. So I told her, I said, don't be surprised if we just stop and pull this side of the road and I got to take a phone call. So that's how life is today. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, that's a good way to do life sometimes. Sometimes the day's chaotic. And that's it why is. You know? you know what's amazing though? What? Like like right here on the side of the road. Coming up, change on the side of the yeah, road. You know what that is right there? Okay. What are we looking at? That is for what? Oh, um... So, fiber update. <laughs> yeah, which means this area is finally getting like 5G. 
as we were moving, which is so funny to me. I mean, it won't come to our house. No. But, I mean, like down the road it was, I had to laugh. I'm like, our little, I think our town was considered like in the county or in the state. Like, um, one of the, I'm pretty sure it's within the state. State like, of like one of the most rural areas. Yeah, one of the most yeah. oppressed rural areas for internet. And like most, the majority, like percentage of kids that don't have internet for school because during COVID and stuff, like could not have internet. I'm like, yeah, yeah. that's our mountain That area. was our area. So now I see all these, they're like putting in the fiber optic now. I'm like, ah, oh, dreams. But in our new house, I will be getting fiber optic. I know. <laughs> I'm so excited about that, like, honestly. I don't even care. I'm getting invested in that. Being able to stream can. and having like multiple people streaming. And then your mom's so uploading nice. and not even saying, yeah, yeah. everybody get off Exactly. Get I'm everybody, so ready for that. Everybody shut everything off so we can at least mm -hmm. watch a video down. <laughs> sad, sad life, too. Always check before you move. The mountains are beautiful, but check because there's no internet. So we're going to head right now. We're going to the post office real quick. I got to run in. We had um, all those puzzles sold, which is awesome. Yeah. But there was one lady that um, had the wrong address, so she just, mm -hmm. we're emailing us. I told Jada, I said, you can run and pay that for me. And then we're going to go head home, and I don't even know what we're doing today. It's already, what, 2 o'clock? It's 2 o'clock. You yeah. worked. How was your work day, Jaden? My work day was good. Um, It was kind of slow, but I had a really nice time with my coworker, and we kind of hung out and surfed people. It's yeah, great. She does good. She worked. Yeah. Local, I can say local chuck wagon because yeah, by the time I see it, it probably won't be working anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I work at the local chuck wagon, which is basically a food truck. A food truck, and I love it. It's yeah. great. I'm gonna miss it so much. Yes, she likes um, to interact with people and do very well. Oh my gosh, I have so much fun because that's all I did today. Yeah. I was on cashier like the entire time, nice. so I got to talk to everybody. It love was it. So much fun. She's doing great. So then we'll give her a break. So she's working like crazy. She finished her college, and now she's gonna be taking a break for summer and enrolling in a new college. Yeah, yeah. starting and starting a new job and driving. Oh all yeah, those things. She's saved up and got yeah. herself some money a lot of money which is awesome and then uh get a car yeah should be great and start adulting adulting so cool. she's already adulting but this will be a little bit more adulting so yeah. it'll be all great so mm -hmm. okay thank you jaden see we okay. killed four minutes see that's hey, yeah, you guys get something today because jaden picked up the camera You're welcome. i was like oh my life today i'm like yesterday was so good i had uh -huh. a good productive day and i'm like yay tuesday's gonna be good and then right. like i didn't i'm like i'll get back since so that's it yeah, and fine. then like i came home and i'm like oh my goodness now what am i gonna do <laughs> Phone I don't calls. Know. I'm gonna be on the phone and do emails and do crunch numbers uh -huh. and do everything else because that's there you go. today. That's okay. Yeah. Well, hey, you do what you gotta do, right? You gotta do. Yeah. So sorry, people, you're here for the ride. Right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> One of these days we'll be packing up the car, moving. Exactly. But it's just not there yet. So yeah. Give you some better content. We'll get there. Now she's just talking the car about mm -hmm. how crazy everything is with phone calling and everything yeah. else. But it's good. Mm -hmm. it's, like I said, I said we get to our, our new house. I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> I shut my phone off, not gonna answer anything. <laughs> not gonna, I could probably walk, but I won't walk, put everything away, and just sit in my pool and do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> do that for about a week or two, and then be like, okay, you two people, and I'm really still not, alive. Because I'll get to the house and wanna do everything because it's all new and exciting, but. Exactly. Plus, you like to kind of like things. put everything together. Yeah, and that'll be exciting. The kitchen is, okay, I'm excited about our kitchen. The kitchen's nice. That I am really excited about. Especially you decorating it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's I like think new. it's gonna look gorgeous. It's a brand new, they just redid mm -hmm. a kitchen, and it's like they're an interior design. Designer, they put really nice appliances and I really know. nice everything. So it's very, very nice. Yeah, so I, really I think the kitchen, the kitchen and the pool sold it for me. I couldn't <laughs> care less about the rest of the house. I was like, whatever. And the kids wanted rooms. Yeah. Their their request those. was big rooms. Yeah. So we saw a ton of houses. Mm -hmm. A ton of houses with big old houses, huge houses, way bigger, way everything. But it was mm -hmm. like the rooms were just not that big. So they were right. all about room size. We want the biggest room size. And I was like, I want a nice kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I want a big pool, and yeah. that was it. And this house has both. And it does. It doesn't have any other. I mean, it has other fun things, but not like it's huge, massive, great room and massive. Yeah, but it's it's like enough room. where everybody's they're content happy. and they're very happy. They're very happy. You know? So it's yeah. gonna be good. So that's what we're trying to finagle and get working today. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Jim's gonna run to our post office for me, so I can sit out here and pray and hope my phone gets ringing here, and then. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be good. Thank yeah. you, Jane. You're very welcome. <laughs> All right, I'm giving the card. <laughs> I can talk while Jane's in the post office, right? Not that I'll talk when Jane's here, but oh, it's the day. It's just the busy day. It's funny. It's like last week I felt like it was so, what are we going to do? How is things going to happen? And then I was like dragged out. I'm like, I don't really feel like I'm doing anything. I just, I like to stay busy. I mean, I like to, I can chill. I can totally chill. And I did. I totally did. I took rest. I slept, caught up. And then Monday was such a good day. I'm like, yay, I feel productive getting things done. And then today I'm like, okay, what do I even do? <laughs> So, got the boxes, yay, that's a good thing, but I can't start packing yet, just yet. If I get the okay here in the next, hopefully, day, well, we'll know for sure this week. But if I get the okay, yeah, for sure by Friday, but hopefully today or tomorrow, which I'm waiting for, and then I can say yes 
pack it up. Then I can, I just can't start putting tons of boxes in my house just yet before I know specifics. So we'll get there. I'm like, the, it's good. It's like that trusting God, you know, constantly. I was, last week was a little more like, not anxious, but more like, okay, what's gonna happen? Then God just reminded me, you know what? Like, keep trusting, keep trusting, rest in him. And I'm like, I know, I know. I have to remind, you have to remind yourself, I have to remind myself that constantly. Like, it's so easy to get like derailed and sidetracked and start getting anxious. And I'm like, I uh, can't. So I'm like, if you're doing everything on your end, which I am right now, that's why I got my notepad with me, my phone ready to answer if I have to. It's like, you do everything that you can do on your end. And then, you know what, leave the rest up to God. So it's not basically sitting back and doing nothing because you're not sitting back doing nothing. You're actually doing something. But it's going to be the um, doing, being active, proactive. God is a proactive God. And then trusting um, that everything, trusting him with the results. So that's where we're at. So it's been a big, I've had like the last couple of years, I've gone through a whole lot. I feel like that was hard. That was hard. It was a hard last couple of years. And, uh, but got through it. Got through it. Feel stronger. Feel good. Now this is coming along. And I'm like, Psh, no big deal. But I'm like, okay, it's just another part of strengthening my faith in God. So all good things, all amazing good things. So I'm gonna, we'll get our mail here and then um, go home. I don't know, maybe we will do nothing today. Maybe we'll leave the house exactly the same. Like there's, I mean, the kids haven't done anything either, which is fine, they were doing school, chilling, they're outside playing, trampoline, and then they're gonna go in the pool. And we got the pool from blue to green, awesome. It looks, I mean, green to blue, not blue to green. <laughs> green to blue, put that in last night, let it run, amazing. Two bags in there, it like, it mixes it all up. And then it's, it settles to the bottom and it just eats all the organisms or whatever it doesn't settle to the bottom. No, it mixes in the water and grabs all the organisms in the water and then settles to the bottom and you vacuum it up. That's what I did. It's beautiful once again. So that stuff is amazing if you got a green pool. I didn't trust it, but um, two cents if somebody does it, d make sure you read the package and how to do it because if you run it through your filter, it'll ruin your filter and you'll dump up, dump on all your sand. So make sure you just recirculate with it in there. But anyway, so that looks good. Pool looks amazing. So they might go in there. So I don't know. And that, you know what, some days like today, it's already two. So like by the time we get home and get done, that might just be, I just might make dinner. That's it. Which we have the beef. I'll just take it out and just cook a couple eggs in the pan and do some veggies and then put the rice in there and then um, the beef and that's it easy easy dinner and I'll have beef left over for tomorrow whatever we decide to do or there's some there'll be some extra rice there too so all good things good things great things it's just the, the waiting <laughs> so we're getting there we're getting to the point where it's almost there it's just not yet but it's getting close so we'll uh we'll be good we'll be good I'm talking to my camera and people are looking at me like what are you doing <laughs> so all good things Jane's coming got my packages and um we'll go ahead home and figure out figure out what we gotta do hopefully I get a phone call in here it's been it said 15 minutes it's been 45 now so I know they're getting numbers together and crunching things and making it good for us <sighs> the trusting and the hope we need to put some good worship music on that's a good thing to do <laughs> when you're feeling a little overwhelmed you're like okay just put some good worship music on keep your focus on him good things all right here she comes back to the kitchen here I am <laughs> going back and forth. So I'm like sitting here and I'm like, okay, I know they're doing stuff on their end to get everything situated. So I'm like, how about I do something on my end? So I'm just going to finish up making dinner. That's what I'm going to do for today's video. That's it. But I did get my, look, I got a pa my package on Amazon. Look, okay, look at this big box. Look at all these. Look at all these jars. Okay, so I have the Wii containers. Let me show you. So I have the Wii yogurt containers right here. These are from the yogurt. The Wii, I think I got them on a discount. They didn't love them. But I'm like, oh, for, I think it was like 10 cents a jar. Perfect. But, and then you get the lid. You can buy these on the actual Wii OUI website. They're like a dollar a lid. So I'm like, oh, that's a great thing. Okay, good deal. But now these are mostly missing. I think I have six. That's it. So then I looked on Amazon. Amazon has these. I believe I got 40 in this box. You don't need that many. You could do half that amount. They're a little bit bigger, obviously. $26 for 40. So that's way cheaper. I think, I wanna say maybe 15 or 20. You can look it up there. If you type in yogurt glass containers, there was, um, it's like, it was not much more to get 40. And I'm like, it was like double. I think you can get 20 or 40. And I was like, I might as well just get 40 and just put them away because they will get broken. Look at, same thing. This, this is a little bit thicker glass, I think, but still amazing with the lids. They're not gonna, I feel like these are a little bit sturdier than the blue lids. So yeah, so I got a whole huge box of these. So these are awesome. I can open those because we're gonna take them as we're packing. So again, I was going through stuff thinking, what? And then I knew I was out of these and we like these. So that'll be nice to have a whole lot. I obviously won't need all 40, but they will get broken. 
kids will just lose them like they do these. So good purchase on Amazon. Let's make fried rice. So what I'm gonna do is get my pan out and I do need to get some veggies. I, I promise some of the kids don't love the mixed vegetable mixture. They're like, why do you mix it in there? And I don't, they don't need to be picky. They're just, the texture, some did not like it. So I promise to keep it separate. So I'm gonna get out some mixed vegetables, put in a glass bowl, put that in the microwave. We'll keep that separate and we can just add it in. But I'll come over here, we'll fry some eggs, the rice, and some beef from over here. Dinner's done and then you know what? I can close today's video, it's not gonna be much. Sorry, tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have more because I didn't do anything. Look at, this is looking exactly the same as this morning. And the living room's got stuff and there's boxes of stuff. So it's good, some days are like that. So let me go get my um, mixed vegetables out and get a pan out. Over here, keeping my stone close by. Okay, I don't have mixed vegetables. I don't know why, but I don't. I have this little bag of three carrots. I'm just gonna put those in there and put these in the microwave. This will be good enough to use for what we have for dinner. I'm not gonna make a huge batch of this. I was gonna do a ton, but I don't I don't think a big one would do. So let me, um, hold on. Okay, let's come over here and do everything. My rice, I got my beef out. It is like, can I touch it? Look at it, like fall apart. Look at it, just tender fall apart. Ooh, yes. Slow cooker will do that to your food. It's amazing. So let's take right here. Let's just fry or scramble a couple eggs in here. Um, and then, it's gonna be easier just to do, yeah. Let's just crack them in here and we'll just, I was saying I should stir them, but I'll just go like this and then just break them apart. Gotta do it quick though. We don't want them setting. This got moved over here. I need to put this over here so I remember to use it. <laughs> One of those, see, pineapple fried rice is good too. I should cut that up. That'd be yummy in here too. So let me just kind of, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me cut that pineapple up and we can do it in here. So this will be good right here. Just fry these eggs and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the rice in here and the beef. Easy, easy fried rice. Put some soy sauce in there and sesame seed oil. It's a done deal. You can do a whole bunch of this. You can freeze it, you can make it, mix it and freeze it that way. That works too. Just make sure that when you reheat it, you keep it covered and um and then like reheat it slower not super fast that doesn't dry out so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to just take my beef and put this in here i think i'm going to do all this beef we'll have it very beefy which will be nice i'm going to put some um i guess i can scoop my rice in too let me put a little bit of probably a little bit more oil on the bottom there i should have did that beforehand let's move over and do this side yes that's what happens when you don't put the oil on first. It's gonna stick a little bit, that's okay. It's good. And then let's put some rice in here. I just dropped that chunk down the stove, awesome. It's good. Probably right there and then I'll do a little bit of sesame oil, just a little bit, and then soy sauce. And then just stir it up. I'm gonna use this one because I like this big giant one. I know it's not real, it's not like the wok kind, but it'll work. It'll taste delicious, everybody like it. One thing missing would be green onions, but I don't have any, so that's okay. And the great thing about this, you can just keep adding a little bit more rice to it. So I can literally just take and scoop out more rice and keep stirring it in here, depending on how much I want to have. We'll keep the veggies separate and this is perfect. Look at that. Beef fried rice, real simple. Can okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put these veggies, but mostly put them on the one side. I can do that, right? <laughs> to appease the one that doesn't like veggies. I feel like that's not much they have to pick through, but just go like this. And it's all in here. We'll go like that. See, most of it's on this side. I'll just have them grab over here first. Look at that. That's it. Beef fried rice. Finished and done. It didn't take me, what, five, ten minutes? I didn't have to get the meat cooking all day. Cook this in between, but a real quick meal to throw together. Delicious. So I'm going to put a lid on this. I'm going to pick up my mess here. Let me get another bowl for this. The rest of my rice in here. No, I have I mean, not much. I'll leave this. I was like, I should just mix it in there. It really isn't much rice. I could have just put it in there. I don't know why I didn't, because it's barely a little bit. But if, you know what? If this rice gets eaten up really good, we'll put it in there. I'm going to leave this because I'm going to saute 
some pineapple in there. Can I do that? I can do that. You're here with me, right? You don't mind the mess? You're good with me? You know I can clean a house, but you also know that I can make it messy if I have to. Let's cut this pineapple up here and then um, get some and I'll I can fry it with these little stuff called fried sauté in it, right? Is that what you do for pineapple fried rice? I've had it at the somewhere. I'm just thinking where I've had it at. I feel like I had it at the Mexican restaurant. Obviously, it wouldn't be fried rice, but it was like um, in their um, fajitas. I don't know, it wasn't pretty. It was like in their fajitas. So, but like it still was good with all the veggies. So, I'm sure pineapple fried rice is good. So, it's not one of my favorite pineapple. Hmm. Doesn't look very fresh. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, I need to put Google here because I don't know my pineapple. Okay, it says, according to, what did it according to? The New York Times says, the indigenous brown spots, as they are called, are aesthetically unpleasant, but the pineapple is just as good as one without the spots. All right. Okay. Hey, we'll keep it. Let me throw my little piece. Let me just get a bag here. Because my trash is overflowing. And let's just put the extra piece in here. I'm literally using a bread knife to cut this. That's okay. Do what I can do today. I don't think there's any more clean knives in here. <laughs> so I'm just cut these up. I bet you the kids will just eat them. They'll be like, how come there's brown spots? It's not pretty, but it says it's safe. So I guess it's like bananas when they get all brown and then you're like, ew, I think that's the way that it works. So chop this up right here. Let me just get a bowl. I'm just gonna saute a little bit. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm not sure. I probably should Google how to do this. I'm thinking in my head, I wonder if like a brown sugar making it sweet would make it good, but I don't think I want to ruin it for fried rice. Doesn't that sound good? Like brown sugar and pineapple? And then in the fried rice? Am I making something up here? I've never had that, but I feel like that would be really good. So I guess I'm just gonna heat this up a little bit here. Would that be good brown sugar? Can I do that? I could do that, right? Let me get some. Okay, I put very little in there, mind you. Is that a weird craving? I don't know, is that even something? A little pineapple on there and I or brown sugar and I feel like just heat that up and I'll put that with my fried rice. I think that's gonna be delicious. So that's good. I'm just gonna take my other thing is my beef over there. I'm just gonna put it in a container and put it in the refrigerator because I didn't uh, use it all today, but we will use it this week. I just, I have other meals I can make with it. I thought I'd just cook it all at once. It's delicious. It's nice fall apart. I could do, I was even thinking like, um, drawing a blank in the name, but like the shredded beef and you put provolone cheese, peppers and onions. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I just can't think right now. So that would be probably really good. So we could try to put it on some sandwiches, but I got like tiny sliders. I got a few extra small buns in there, like leftover ones, random ones. So we could make little sliders and provolone Jensen can do. So, okay, is this good? I think it's, try. Mm. All right, I'm gonna put, the, I'm gonna put the, my little fried rice bowl right here. I feel like that's gonna be good. Okay, so since I'm gonna try this, that's really good. That's really good, why is that good? Okay, it is a thing. Pineapple, Hawaiian pineapple steak fried rice. Sweet pineapple, there you go. See, not bad. It's on there, Google says it's on there. <laughs> that's really good, that's a good meal. Back over here, so I'm gonna take this beef out here and just put it in these bowls. This is delicious. I could say broth, well, it's more like a Chinese. I put sesame oil and soy sauce. I don't know what I'm actually gonna do with this. Something delicious because it's that good. London broil is good meat. Okay, so this is gonna go in here. Love my slow cooker. Absolutely love my slow cooker. Getting all that out. Love the spoon too. It's become my new favorite. Okay, let me drain this out. <laughs> We're gonna let that fill up. This is gonna cool. I'm gonna put this away. That's it. That's it for my day. The dinner is delicious. I'm eating this because I didn't eat anything today. It's a coffee, so this is good. Actually, we had a bag on the way, didn't we? We had a bag this morning. So that is it for my day. Like I'm gonna go finish. I'm gonna eat my little bowl of rice, so that's really good. And then um, go see the kids, cause you know, it's been a long day. And then we'll have that for dinner. And then focus on the business aspect that I gotta do for the house. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll know here in the next two days, which would be amazing, which would be amazing. So we'll just see how it rolls. 
it's gonna be fine it's gonna be good either way so however it works so I'm gonna go so you have a fantastic I'm talking fantastic rest of your day and I'm gonna see you tomorrow come back tomorrow we'll do something I promise I do have things to do just didn't do them today we'll do them tomorrow so all right see you tomorrow bye